As the world economy emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic, attention is turning to growth prospects. A simple framework can help us think through this. GDP growth can come from more workers or better productivity. Historically, labour productivity has been the main source of growth differences across countries. Its importance is likely to increase as population ageing shrinks the workforce. Labour productivity is volatile, but its slow-moving trends reflect a combination of country-specific factors, which affect all industries in a given country, and industry-specific factors, which affect individual industries in all countries. So our framework sheds light on how growth might evolve over the next decades. Let's assume that country and industry-specific components of labour productivity grow at their pre-pandemic trends, and employment grows in line with working age population. Then, world GDP growth would average 2.7% between 2024 and 2040, a percentage point below its average in the 2010s. But many other outcomes are possible. Managing the climate transition will be key for future growth. An orderly transition with timely funding, genuinely green investment, could boost the level of world GDP by around 1% by 2040. But a disorderly transition where green technology cannot meet the expectations of investors and governments could lower the level of GDP by up to 10% in the near term and up to 3% by 2040.